So, the, this uh, NPTEL course is on mechanics of sheet metal forming and uh, this course uh, is going to concentrate mainly on the uh, mechanics aspects of sheet metal forming and uh, uh, all of you are aware of the fact that the sheet metal forming is uh, one important manufacturing process through which we make several components useful for uh, several industries including automotive, aerospace, uh, many other machine parts are made and household utensils are made with this. There are lots and lots of processes that we have studied in our undergraduate courses and uh, we will not discuss too much about the process uh, you know uh, itself in this course rather we are going to discuss more about the mechanics of that particular process. So, that is the uh, whole uh, uh, flavor of this particular course and uh, uh, we are going to solve some problems numerical problems in each module or chapter and uh, there will be some demonstration of a few selected you know uh, sheet metal forming operations okay, lab scale at, at, at lab level. Okay, there will be some demonstration which I can show a video like that and uh, I will briefly cover uh, you know the uh, syllabus of this course content syllabus of this course so that you can understand uh, where we stand and uh, it is a 20 hour course. Okay. So, we have to complete this entire mechanics of sheet metal forming in 20 hours. So, uh, you can see that uh, to start with in the first uh, part we are going to discuss about of course, introduction will be given of what is sheet metal forming, what are the different process and you know, all those things will be covered. In continuation to that we are going to discuss about uh, material properties specifically tensile test and effect of some important properties. The next chapter would be on basics of plasticity. Okay. So, which is in general we have written as sheet deformation processes and in which you can discuss about we are going to discuss about uh, new axial tension, general sheet forming process, yield function okay. and uh, you know relationship between effective stress, effective strain all those things problems will be solved. Then uh, we are going to discuss some important aspects of sheet deformation in plane stress. What do you mean by strain distribution? What do you mean by strain diagram? principal tension means what effective stress strain loss like that. Then we are going to discuss you know one class on stamping analysis. Suppose there is a simple stamping problem how do you model it a 2D analysis will be discussed and then we are going to discuss little elaborately on load instability and theory how sheet fails, how does it neck, how do we uh, you know uh, predict it that theories will be discussed in the next chapter. And as an extension of that we are going to discuss about sheet formability, how do you quantify formability, how do you evaluate it, okay. uh, some simple uh, theories through which you can predict it, okay. some simple derivations and some end results. This is what we are going to see. After that what we are going to see is uh, more of uh, uh, processes, we are going to see uh, sheet bending mechanics of that and then deep drawing. Okay, and then uh, stretching, then uh, hydroforming and finally, we will discuss a brief account of anisotropic yield functions. Okay, and uh, as I told you the last part of this would be demonstration of uh, some sheet metal forming process uh, in labs. Okay, so, uh, there are lot and lots of problems one can ask in the entire subject. We will solve some of them each chapter maybe we can solve about 2-3 problems of uh, different nature. And uh, this course will have more derivations uh, okay, using physics based principles and less of uh, you know description or information. And uh, since it is a 20 hour course the syllabus is restricted to this and uh, more details of this subject can be uh, taken care you know by reading some core books available in metal forming okay, or sheet metal forming or uh, you know plasticity, engineering plasticity that type of books can be referred for further reading. And uh, who can attend this course? Who are beneficiaries? I just hinted here students of course, UG students mainly uh, uh, fourth year students okay, from mechanical engineering department, production engineering, manufacturing engineering and to some extent from metallurgy. And uh, of course, the PG students, MTech, ME, MS students from manufacturing, production engineering and again to some extent from metallurgy. So, when I say manufacturing production other similar courses are also. Uh, acceptable like for example, uh, computer engineering, CAD CAM, 
these students also can attempt this. Of course, those students who are working on PhD, if they want to do their projects, you know, for four or five years in uh, metal forming, sheet forming, you know, uh, maybe mechanical joining of sheets, uh, solid state joining of sheets, wherever you have plastic deformation and you want to do some modeling of that, then this course would be useful. And uh, other than, you know, academic, uh, you know, uh, beneficiaries, there are, uh, uh, you know, uh, those who are working in industries, okay, uh, specifically those who are working in stamping industries, uh, sheet metal forming industries, automotive industries, where you handle this kind of sheet forming operations. If you want to uh, know about the mechanics part of that, then also you can attend this course. And uh, some of the reference books, uh, you know, I have hinted here, uh, though I have referred about seven books, predominantly we are going to use first five books. First book, Marcinia Duncan Who, Mechanics of Sheet Metal Forming, this will be used. This is a very uh, small book, a lot of problems are there and problems have got solutions also in this book. Then uh, there is another book by Professor D. Banabic, Sheet Metal Forming Process, Constitutive Modeling and Numerical Simulation will be useful. Next book would be on Fundamentals of Metal Forming by Wagner and Chenot. There is another book, Metal Forming Mechanics and Metallurgy by Hausford Cadell. And then Plasticity Fundamentals and Applications by P. M. Dixit and U. S. Dixit. Okay. These are all some famous books you can refer while you attend this course plus extra reading also. Last two books also can be referred. Okay. Uh, Theory of Plasticity by J. Chakravarti and Basic Engineering Plasticity by Rees. Okay. So, uh, I hope the contents of this syllabus, uh, you know, the subject would be useful for you and uh, then and there we interact and then we can solve some problems also later on and uh, hope this course is going to be useful for you. Thank you.